terrific rush and a big time hit applied by Jared Allen. Howdy. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing well. 2024 Pro Football Hall of Fame finalist, Jared Allen, thank you so much for making the time to be here, stopping by while you're in town. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's unfortunate, like, you know, the amount of times you're in the finals of the Hall of Famous, Hall of Fame finalist doesn't add up like Pro Bowls. And at some point it starts to get sad. Like, oh, five time. Uh, what, again, what emotions are you feeling, I guess, knowing that? Well, that I, I lean on the adage that four times a charm sometimes, right? Fourth Great. time is a charm every once in a while. So it's humble. It really, I, the whole process is, is cool. It, honestly, anytime you see your name up there, and I say that all that stuff joking, but uh, it's always an honor. It's always a complete humbling experience. And, you know, like I said, if I get the gold jacket one day, it'll be fantastic. It'll be epic. It'll be amazing. It'll be one of the greatest honors of my life. What do you think that would say about you as a player? Some badass. Freeman goes back to pass. Hit and sack right out of the gate. Jared Allen gets him at the 15 yard line. For me, I look at it as a standpoint of, I play this game for, for the respect of my peers, the respect of the players that you know came before me, uh, and obviously the fans. I think anybody that's gonna spend hard earned money to come watch me play a game for a living, you should give it all you got, right? So I think for me, the gold jacket is a sign of, um, you know, just like a nod, like you did it the right way. Just last year, the recognition within the Vikings organization as our latest ring of honor and training the, the inducted last year. What's up, bro? Good you, man. Yes. I kind of felt bad that even for this interview, we didn't have you ride it on a horse. I know, right? I'm I mean, sorry a stick about horse that. or something. Come on, where's the production value? Please welcome to the field 2022 Vikings Ring of Honor inductee, Jared Allen. To be honest, I don't know how the Hall of Fame tops that. I, I'm, being, I'm being honest. Like, some award ceremony type deals can just kind of be redundant where you're shaking hands, kissing babies, and you know, you, you say a few words. Second to my beautiful wife and my kids, thank you for supporting me on this crazy ride that we call life. But I'll never forget the conversation I had with Jim Marshall. Uh, when, I, when I first got here, I was standing in, in uh, back then, you know, Winter Park, you're looking at the banners, the division banners, and he, and he just told me, he's like, that's what it's all about. He's like, none of this other stuff. He's like, that is immortality. Right? How many banners can you hang? Whenever you go into an NFL stadium, you're, you're in the presence of greatness. Um, and that's what I always loved. And I always wanted to impress upon that. And I always wanted to leave that mark. And I always, so, I mean, it was special. And I don't, I, don't, I don't know that you can recreate that, to be honest with you. You know, you kind of stole my thunder. I was going to say, if, if you get into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, you got to have something up your sleeve. Man, I'm thinking, uh, well, Tom Canavy, the great, uh, greatest strength coach to ever walk the face of the earth, he literally sends me pictures of Trans Ams every single time I get the finals list. So if I get in, I mean, maybe we'll just bring the, the pink Cadillac or maybe we'll, we'll roll in know. with a, you know, pay an homage to uh, Burt Reynolds coming with the old I feel like Trans you gotta do Am. something. Yeah, we gotta do something fun. Yeah. If they let me, I don't know. <laughs> you know, whatever happens, you've had a remarkable career and now in retirement, it seems like you're also thriving as well. In an average day of Jared Allen, what does that look like right now? Oh, well, depends. Um, depends on what sports season is for my kids. So it's usually, it's, it's school drop-offs, it's youth sports, um, and, I, and I'm still curling. I'm trying to make the Olympics in curling, so that's why I'm in town. I gotta go up to Duluth for a curling uh, event. Um, yeah, just, that's kind of it. Uh, I have take care of my, you know, riding horses, roping, just Living gardening. The yeah, between, you know, gardening, mowing lawns. I took a little, I stole a little bit from Brett. Uh, you know, I mow my own lawn, there's something therapeutic about mowing your own lawn. Riding the tractor. Yeah, whatever you feel like that day, right? That's the yeah, every day is Saturday. Every, every day is Saturday. You, it can, you know, you gotta, you gotta have good self-control because that, that, that. that can be a problem. I did want to bring up the curling because I think most guys, you know, they go into coaching or they even pick up golf. Curling for you yeah, was I do the golf. obvious choice, right? I do right? golf. I dabbled in coaching a little bit this year. But no, yeah, curling was the obvious sport. Where we at? 90. 90? Took a bet. Still trying to win that bet. I've never welched on it. Uh, on a bet yet. Um, it's getting to the point I probably should because the, the money I'm about to win is absolutely very insignificant compared to what I'm spending on this <laughs> stupid sport. But we're enjoying it. It's fun because it's a totally different challenge, right? Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, it's everything I've done my whole life using aggression to my advantage. You have to like revert that. It's like the, it's like your short game of golf, right? And then, but I'm also like crazy hyper competitive. So now that I started, I want to be the best. We're good. We're, we're top 12. We're top 12. How many people have gold medals and gold jackets? 
I don't know. Yeah, that's a whole other. That's right? a whole other thing. I'm not gonna go and say I, I <laughs> promise a gold medal, but I'm gonna give them hell. Try it. And to everybody, everybody, USA curling, you're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be shaking their knees, and we're gonna do everything we can. Hopefully, hopefully, have a gold medal for nationals. We'll, we'll start with that. Uh, be, there you go. Hey, great. that still counts, gold medal. Absolutely. For sure. For Absolutely. sure. We wish the best of luck with curling. Thank wish you. Wish the best of luck as this committee makes hopefully the right decision. Yeah, make, make the right decision, right? people. Come on. <laughs>